Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a couple plates from Premier Body Armor. But before we get into the video, if you want to help me out personally, you can, of course, like, share, and subscribe, as that is all free and does help me out quite a bit. Also, go ahead and comment your favorite Gucci Tactical accessory, as I do consider these to be fairly Gucci, as we'll get into the price tag in just a minute. On top of that, there's also Subscribe Star, which is basically a pro to a Patreon. With that out of the way, though, full disclosure on these plates. I've had these plates all the way back since April, I believe. Ben from Forge reached out to me and wanted to see if I wanted to test out some of their plates. Now, we didn't do any sort of ballistic testing on them, as these are NIJ certified plates, so me doing my own testing doesn't really mean anything. But these plates are fairly special in terms of their rating and their performance to weight. Now, you've probably seen several gun tubers shilling for Premier Body Armor, and I don't really mean that in a negative context, as it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world when Premier Body Armor decides to sponsor creators and, you know, help them continue to make videos. For this specific video, I was paid nothing. I don't believe I even have an affiliate link for them. They did send out the plates for me to review and talk about, uh, but that's about as far as that goes. Now, that being said, these plates are very expensive. Currently on sale, they are $499 each, and they sent me a set of two. Now, I was supposed to have this video out like three months ago, but uh, it got pushed back in the queue, but basically since April, I believe, is when I actually got these plates. In every video you've seen me wear a plate carrier, I have been using these plates. Now, these are level 3 plus NIJ certified, if we want to get into specifics for a little bit. They're a, I believe, multi-material, so I believe you still have a ceramic strike face and then a UHWMPE material on the back. So these are level 3 plus. We'll get into the rating in a little bit. But for me, the main reason that I was interested in this set when they sent them out to me is that each plate weighs a whopping 2.8 pounds. Now, the plates that I was running previously were level 4 plates. I believe I have like six of these laying around. These are very budget overseas manufactured plates. They have, however, been tested to the NIJ level 4 certification. However, this plate weighs 6 pounds, I believe just under 6 pounds by itself. So two of these plates are actually lighter than one of these. So over the last five months or so of using these plates, probably once to twice a week in various range sessions, you've probably seen me do some, at least one plate carrier review in that time frame. All the time that I've spent with these plates, and they are certainly a game changer, especially when it comes to weight, because this did straight up not quite cut it in half, but almost cut the weight of the entire plate carrier setup in half, probably like a 30, 35% reduction in total weight, which is a huge improvement. Now with those very nice weight savings, we do of course have a couple fairly obvious downsides. The first one, this is called Premier Body Armor, much like going on a blind date with a girl named Cinnamon, you probably know what you're getting into. Premier Body Armor, they are very expensive. These will not only save you a lot of weight in terms of your plate carrier, but also in terms of your wallet as the set of these is just over a thousand dollars when not on sale compared to budget cheaper plates that you can pick up for a hundred bucks or even in some circumstances under a hundred bucks per plate whereas these are again about five hundred dollars per plate the second downside is while these are incredibly good performers for their weight these are level three plus which means that they have been certified to level three which has all of these calibers here and then, of course, they have been special threat tested to additional calibers to give them that kind of three plus rating. Now, if you don't know why a lot of companies don't necessarily go through the whole NIJ testing process and certification process is because it's very expensive, especially if you're doing a lot of different models. I believe it's thirty thousand dollars or just under thirty thousand dollars per model. And of course, if you have 10 different models of plates, you have to get all of those certified. So it can be very expensive. On top of that, the plus certification, I believe it's X amount of thousand dollars on top of the basic certification for each additional caliber that you want to have tested. So again, that becomes incredibly expensive very quickly. Now, these are legitimate certified plates, so that is going to induce some of that additional cost. And it is something that people, you know, departments, people that are buying these in bulk, they will look for that certification rather than just, you know, the manufacturer has tested them to NIJ standards. Now getting into the actual protection that these plates offer, they are of course 
certified to level three, which is, of course, all of these calibers. I'll probably put them on screen or something overlaid on top. And then they have their special threat, which includes three additional calibers. A 762 by 39 load, a M80 ball load at 2850 FPS, which is an incredibly hot 308 load. And then you also have M193, which again, level three plates, standard level three plates are not rated to stop a fast moving 55 grain ball. Now the biggest downside to me personally for these plates is that in the worst case scenario, which is again, I believe they test from 10 yards or 15 yards from a zero degree angle, they will not stop M855 or M855A1. I have seen some tests where they have stopped M855, but again, in the true worst case scenario, they are not certified to stop M855 or M855A1. So if that is a caliber that you are worried about in the worst possible scenario, again, basically point blank straight shot, these will not, or at least they're not certified to stop, again, in more real world conditions from not a perfect angle from a farther distance, probably will. But again, if that is a caliber or a specific round that you are worried about, then you need to step up to their level four plates. Now they do have level four plates as well that will stop all of that stuff, M855, M855A1, M2.AP or whatever else is the 30-06 black tip round that those will stop. Now, for me personally, I was more interested in the three plus plates, even though they don't stop M855, or again, they're not rated to stop M855, just because of how lightweight they are. Now, the level four plates by Premier Body Armor are also quite nice. They come in at 4.4 pounds, which again, for a level four plate is maybe not the lightest out there, but it's very close to the lightest out there. And they are going to, again, provide you with that true basically stop everything level four protection. Now, being that these plates are very expensive, they do have a shelf life, unfortunately, as most ceramic armor does. Fortunately, the warranty on these is 15 years, which is uh, pretty good. The industry standard for most cheap plates is anywhere from five to 10 years. And again, being that these are quite an investment, it is nice to see 15 years as the manufacturer rating for them to still hold their level three plus protection. Now, of course, for me personally, the most important thing about these plates is their performance or protection to weight ratio, which is very important to say. They're not necessarily the strongest, highest threat level plates out there, but for their weight, they are very, very difficult to beat. Now, with lightweight plates in general, which will make it very hard to swap back to non-lightweight plates after this, is that they magically make every plate carrier you own much more comfortable, for instance, in part of the videos, you probably see me running the LAPG Lovis, which is more of a lightweight plate carrier. It's not particularly comfortable, has very thin backing. As you can tell, there's not really much form to it whatsoever. But again, when you magically cut down the weight of your plates in half, it will, of course, make your overall setup much more usable, much more comfortable, especially given long periods of time. If you plan to be doing something for several days, if you want to be doing a lot of moving in a plate carrier, if you have a job that requires you like a security guard or something where you're wearing plates, you know, for extended shifts or something like that, cutting the amount of weight on your body or on the plate carrier itself by again, 30 to 40%, depending on your overall setup, that can be a huge boost to your performance. And again, with these plates with their level three plus protection, you're not sacrificing too much in terms of level four protection or some other plates on the market. But that is again, going to be for you to decide if that M855, M855A1 protection is something that you need. If you need that sort of protection, then you are, of course, going to have to look at other plates. Now, in terms of fitment on the plates, they are kind of their own size. They don't really follow any other form factor. They're designed to fit in most 10 by 12 carriers. They're not too thick, only about 0.75 inches thick. Now, in my LAPG Core, or sorry, in my LAPG Lovis and my Atlas plate carriers, which are my favorite budget carriers. They still hold up very well and I still use them all the time. Those two fit perfectly, no issues whatsoever. On the Tacticon plate carrier that I reviewed quite some time ago, while they did fit, they were extremely tight. So your specific fitment is going to depend on your plate carrier. If, you if your plate carrier you know has a little bit of a tighter plate bag, then you could have some issues fitting these in there. So again, it is something you should try and look up and test ahead of time. Now, Premier doesn't just make rifle plates or your standard plate carrier plates. What they're actually most known for and what they sell the most of is actually kind of bag and plate combos. So your backpacks and stuff like that, more of like a 
not necessarily a lifestyle brand, but something that you can use every day. Now, currently I don't have much use for that as I don't really carry around a backpack in what I do. However, later on in the future, I will be building out like a five to eight inch 300 blackout suppressed, hopefully kind of transitioning that into a bag gun. Maybe at that point, I will look into a bag setup, bag plus plate carrier plus gun in kind of a more capable setup that's still portable. So now that I've been playing around with these plates for a while and kind of gotten used to how light they are, it would be very obnoxious for me to have to go back to something that was four or five pounds, even if they had a little bit higher of a threat rating. Just having such a lightweight plate carrier or a lightweight plate that makes your overall setup that much lighter. Like if you're using standard weight plates anywhere from five and a half, six and a half pounds, somewhere in that range, these plates will quite literally cut that weight in half and still provide 90, 95% of their protection, which again is kind of their claim to fame is their protection to weight ratio. Now, I'll be honest, guys, if they did not send these out to me, I would not have purchased them because they are incredibly expensive. Are they worth the money to you? Uh, possibly, you know, if you're somebody who's looking for that top tier $800 to $1,200 range for a set of plates, which is kind of in that top echelon of what plates cost, you can always get more expensive plates that are, you know, $800, $900 by themselves for very, very specific applications. However, $800 to about $1,200 for a set is kind of that still top echelon, not necessarily the top top, but very close to it. And most people will not have a problem with plates that are that expensive. They're obviously also budget plates as well. They won't have the same sort of threat protection to weight ratio. They probably won't be certified. Again, they'll be, you know, tested to NIJ standards, whatever that happens to mean to that company. At the end of the day, though, if you can't afford the plates, don't buy the plates. You should buy what you can afford. You shouldn't max out a credit card. You can find high value plates out there that provide a good level of protection that aren't too insanely heavy. And that's what I buy personally. That's what I have laying around. I buy high value plates because I don't have a thousand dollars to drop on a set of very, very nice plates. So with all that out of the way, guys, let me know what you guys think of Premier Body Armor, whether it's these or the level four or some of their backpack stuff. Go ahead and tell me about that in the comments down below. And with all that out of the way, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.